Greetings! In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to create bass drops or so-called sub drops using Reaper default plugins. So, uh, here I have a mixing project of a cover song. Let's hear the part. So after this pause, I'd like to put a sub drop here, right in the first beat of the bar. Let's create a new track folder called Special Effects and a new track and call it Sub Drop. Now I'm adding the Rea Synth plugin to this track and rowing a new MIDI item. By default, this plugin produces a sine synth, so simple sine wave synth, as you can hear. Let's draw a note. Now it's clipping the master bus, so make it quieter. Okay, let's hear it in solo. Yeah. As you can hear, a simple sine wave uh, with pretty fast start and no release sound at all. So let's tweak it a bit, add in some attack. So to emphasize the attack, I'll have to lower the sustain volume. And making shorter decay time. Yeah. And let's add a longer release time. So the sub drop fades out smoothly. Yeah. Now let's add some harmonics to it. I'm using wave shape and distortion plugin. It's also a built-in JS plugin in Reaper. Let's check it in the context of the mix. Too loud. Let's add a clipper. And adjust the level as well. Some EQ. Please note that I'm adding an EQ after the wave shaping distortion to adjust the tone with harmonics already. So now it sounds pretty decent to me, but I'll add even more release. And also. I'd like to add some pitch uh, movement. So it starts from higher pitch and ends with the lower. Yeah, now it's more similar to an 808 bass. Let's color the tracks. Sounds solid to me. Add some punch after the pose. Yeah. Now let's render it and see 
the waveform. All right, as you can see, it's a simple sine wave with smooth fade out and some clipping as well. Okay, that's it for the moment. I hope the video will be useful for you. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you.